Hey love, are you alone and single this holiday season? And it doesn't feel so good? Well, you're just like me. And I think we should talk about that today. Hi, I'm Kay Marie and welcome to my channel. This channel is for singles who are single and childless and it's my goal to help us to find ways to have joy and contentment despite the life that we have right now, despite this season that we're in right now. I hope you will join me in this journey of learning to have joy and contentment. Let's get started today. Today's video is about being single, childless, and alone for the holiday season. I know it is not a good situation for you, right? It is a, how could I say this? Quite depressing for some of us, right? We wouldn't choose it. So I want to talk about what it's like for us. Will you join me? We are human and we desire, humans desire human connection and intimacy. And when you don't have human connection and intimacy, it can kind of it mess with your psyche. It can cause you to be sad and, and for some people even depressed. We were designed to be in connection with other human beings. When God created the earth, the animals, Adam, if you believe the Bible, I don't know what you believe in how creation started, but I'm Christian, so that's what I'm going to speak about. When God created the earth, the plants, the vegetation, the waters, animals, and then he created Adam, right? At some point, he said, it's not good for man to be alone. I will create him a help me. And then he created Eve. So what happened there? God presented Eve to Adam. God gave Eve to Adam for human connection because it wasn't good for Adam to be alone. So he made him someone for him. So many of us singles want the same thing. We want to be connected to someone that we can love and share our time and have a real intimate connection with. And this is not the situation for many of us. We are doing life singles, and especially the single and childless. We are doing life alone, alone and on our own. And oftentimes it's not easy. We crave having someone in our life to share life with. When I think about having someone in your life, you're thinking about like time shared and spent together. You're thinking about intimacies, and you can have family members, cousins, friends, mommies, daddies, sisters, brothers, nieces, nephews, but you will never have that kind of intimacy with those people, right? So singles, we're void of that. So that brings me to the holidays. So during the holidays, we're still void of that. Yes, many of us have family that invites us over for the holidays and that's fun it's i mean i always enjoy my time with my family um <clears throat> but what happens is this and singles i'm sure you understand so you go to the event and you see your family members right so your mom or dad may be there you see your cousins or your sister or brother and they may be married so they have their mates and they may have children, so they have their mate and they have their children. Then you might have another family member that may not be married like you, but they have children. So they have someone that they love, they can go home and cuddle with and take care of, or that takes care of them. So where does that leave the singles with no children? You have none of the above. So you go, you enjoy it, right? But in the back of your mind, you're looking at them saying, this is nice, I'm enjoying this time with them, but I don't have this for myself. Like I don't have my own mate. I don't have my own children. I don't have my own immediate family. 
And if you don't have parents like me, that takes it up another notch. So you leave the family's house and you think about, wow, I wish I had that. I wish I had my own children. I wish I had my parents. I wish I had my significant other. We go home, get ready for bed, cuddle, and you know, talk to one another, but just don't have that. And some singles can get very lonely and depressed. And they can't handle it very well. They may even go home and cry themselves to sleep. They may decide not even to go to your house for the holidays. They may make an excuse. This season, this holiday season, even my therapist told me, people are on the edge. A lot of suicides happen this time of year. I know some of them may be singles who are tired of being alone. So trust me, I feel you. And I was there. I used to get really, really down and depressed around the holiday season. I no longer do that. I've grown in some ways that I, countless ways. I'm not, I'm not that person anymore. I do get down sometimes though, but never to the point of depression. And so I just wanted to bring light to this situation because I know there are others of you out there like that. So singles. Your family and friends may not know how you feel on the inside, right? You may not tell them your innermost feelings about being single. They may not know that you are on the verge of depression. They may not know you go home and cry yourself to sleep, right? So our family doesn't know how to deal with us. They don't know to give us a little extra love. They don't know to check on us. They don't know the ways in which to love us because of this thing that's happening in our hearts and in our psyche, right? I wonder if we can tell them how we really feel so that they know. Like, don't suffer in silence. Hopefully the person that you do share this with, I'm not saying share with everybody or anybody because not everyone is sensitive to you. Not everyone has empathy, but someone who you trust and really loves you, if you can tell them and be honest, I am kind of depressed about this and I feel really sad and I go home and I cry. Just share it. Share it with a person that you trust. And I encourage those people who have family members who are single, childless, and don't have their own families. I encourage you to ask them, how are you? Bring up this video, share this video with them. Ask them how they are, even be specific. Bring up, I know you're single and you don't have your own family. I watched this girl, K. Marie on YouTube and she spoke about it. And I wanna ask you, cause she encouraged me to do this. Are you okay with this? What can I do to support you? Cause we don't want them going home on the edge, depressed, doing something that they should not do, right? And sometimes you guys get so engrossed in your family, right? We know you have your own problems. I'm not saying you don't have your own problems, but you get engrossed in your family and you go home with this family and you don't think about that loved one who might be suffering. So I'm just bringing light to that, okay? So I just shared what I want our family members to know, right? But I also want to speak to those singles who are suffering in silence. If your family does not love on you the way that you need, maybe they don't know how, right? If your family does not ask you those questions that I just suggested, or you're afraid to tell them how you really feel, now I need you to dig deep inside of you and learn to be okay with where you are, okay? Just because it's the holiday doesn't mean we have to go down that rabbit hole, right? It's just like any other day. 
I know you're seeing families together. I know you are seeing all these celebrations and everybody's laughing, hee hee ha ha, together. You go home alone, I know. I have a list of four things that I wanna encourage you to do, especially right now if you're feeling down, okay? Number one, do things that make you happy and that won't bring regret. Why do I say that, that second part? Because singles, if you're not out there like that, you like intimacy, sexual intimacy, right? So if I'm saying do things that make you happy, you might say, well, I'm going, I'm going to go get me some, right? But you go get you some by some random person or some person that you were involved with. And afterwards, guess what happens? They may not call you. They may not talk to you. And then you regret ever doing that. So I'm not saying do things that make you happy that will bring regret. Do things that make you happy. Whatever that is. Okay? Think about what brings you joy. If you like to draw, start drawing again. If you used to play the keyboard and stop, start playing the keyboard. If you like to go for a jog, go for a jog. Clear your head. Number two. Spend time with family and friends. Some of us may live somewhere we're not um, close to family members, but you have friends. So I encourage you to spend time with good people, good friends or family. Do something with them that you enjoy, whether it's dinner, whether it's ice skating, roller skating, or a, a game of spades, chess, something. Go with them spend time and do something together okay number three and this is three parts to number three relax relax yourself meditate and journal okay relax what do i mean by that i mean chill out on your couch with your pjs on watch a movie read a book right meditate Actually meditate, sit quiet, eyes closed, eyes open, just breathe, relax, and just try to try to get calm, right? Or journal. I find journaling your thoughts, reflecting on how you feel so that you can go back to it and see where you were and where you are, that can be helpful. Identifying, reflecting and identifying who you are, what you are, what you're thinking, how you process things that can help you get out of the place that you are in, okay? Number four, spend time with God. I don't know if you're Christian or what religion you are, but if you believe in a higher being that created you, God, whoever your God is, spend time with God, pray, Ask God to help you to get out of this state of sadness and or depression. To bring you the dreams that you've had all of your life. To help you um, understand yourself better. And to be okay with where you are for the time being. Because trust me, if you are single, it's because God said so. And we have to trust him in that, okay? So those are the four tips that I have for you. And I hope that they help you. I am praying for you, sis or brother. I'm praying that you get through this holiday season with flying colors and you learn to be okay with where you are. Know that I'm not saying this in a place that I, in this place that I am now, I'm saying this because of the place that I have been in. I was there, sad, depressed, couldn't understand, crying, going to sleep early, not wanting to go to see family during the holidays, all of that. But I've since grown and I've grown in ways that I can't even imagine today. And it was through therapy, it was through prayer, self-reflection and just knowing God's got me. And if I live a good life and I'm a good person, which I try my best to be, he's not going to withhold anything from me. If you do good, if you sow seeds of goodness, 
they're coming back. They're coming back to you. I know that. I believe it. And I trust it. So I encourage you to just trust God in this process. Know that he loves you. You are the apple of his eye. And you are here where you are for a reason. And while you are here, learn the lesson or lessons, whatever they are. Okay? All right. God loves you. And I love you. And I pray that you have a good holiday season. And that you are alive and well and thriving. Okay? I want you to know that life won't always be this way. Whether it changes and you get the mate that you want or whether you come to the place in your mind and in your heart where you're okay with where you are, okay? All right, I hope what I've shared with you is helpful to you and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye, love.